Welcome, pilots! This video is part of my guide detailing every high security combat site. While I normally fly an Ishgur, for Angel Cartel sites I've instead chosen to fly another assault frigate called the Retribution. This ship is well suited for the Angel Creocorp mining site. Before I go any further, it should be noted that many of the Angel Creocorp mining sites you'll find are likely to be bugged out. You'll most likely enter the site to discover the first room completely emptied of NPCs. As the gate to the next room requires a special key to be activated, you'll have no way of completing the site. To make things extra annoying, I realized on several occasions that I was scanning down the same bugged site even days later. I believe this happens when a pilot makes their way past the first room, only to lose their ship later in the site. For those completionists out there, watch on to find out what this site is like in the event you manage to find it first. Combat signatures appear in your probe scanner window, and you must scan them down with probes before you can warp to them. Some combat signatures are referred to as DED rated sites. DED stands for the Directive Enforcement Department, an NPC corporation that is a division of Concord. Such combat sites are given a difficulty rating on a scale of 1 through 10. The Angel Creocorp mining site is a combat signature found in all systems with a security status of 0.9 and higher throughout Minmatar space. This site is a good place for younger pilots to practice their PvE combat skills. It also has a decent potential for some good loot drops. Only up to Destroyer-class ships will be allowed into the site. The Angel Cartel has mining rights to this dead space complex and it is the Angel-run Creocorp Mining Corporation that handles business for them. They do not take kindly to intruders, and have stationed defense posts throughout the complex. This site has a DED threat assessment of minor, 2 of 10. You'll land directly on an ancient acceleration gate, which you must activate to enter the first room of the site. Creocorp purchases materials and know-how from the Minmatar to be able to build the most recently developed mining facilities. They routinely build automatic sentry guns for defense purposes. The first room has a total of 25 Angel Cartel NPCs, all flying frigates or corvettes. Four of these are near the landing beacon, between a pair of lookout structures. The rest surround the main base, with the Dead Space Synchronization HQ structure at its center. The gate to the next room is locked, requiring the Creo Synchronization Pass in your ship's cargo hold. You'll need to destroy the Dead Space Synchronization HQ, which drops the pass and a third tier Overseer effects. All of the NPCs can actually be ignored. The pass will be consumed when you activate the gate into the next room. In this Dead Space pocket, Creocorp collects and stores spare parts and tools for use in the entire complex. The mining facilities in there are impressive, given the short time it has taken Creocorp to plan and build them. The second room has a total of 27 Angel Cartel NPCs, mostly flying frigates or corvettes. Two corvettes greet you on the landing beacon. The rest surround the main base, with the Creocorp main factory at its center. A single cruiser is among them. The gate to the next room is locked, requiring the factory gate key in your ship's cargo hold. You'll need to destroy the Creocorp main factory, which drops the gate key and fourth tier overseer effects. All of the NPCs can actually be ignored. The gate key will be consumed when you activate the gate into the next room. This dead space pocket contains plentiful resources of valuable ore, as well as large asteroids that have already been mined to the core. The pocket is well guarded with stationary sentry guns, and a number of frigates patrolling key locations. The third and final room is split into four groups of Angel Cartel NPCs. The first group greets you on the landing beacon, consisting of three frigates or corvettes. The second group is out in front of the main base, consisting of twelve frigates guarding a pair of lookout structures. The third group is way in the back near a radio telescope, consisting of three more frigates. The fourth and final group surrounds the Dead Space Control Station. This group consists of nine frigates and a single cruiser. You can ignore all of the NPCs and instead focus on the Dead Space Control Station. The station always drops a 5th tier Overseer effects, and has a decent potential to drop one or more Gisti B-type Dead Space modules. 
A ship like the Retribution, fit with beam lasers, is capable of running this site in less than five minutes, when ignoring the NPCs that are unnecessary to complete the site. Because the entrance gate is restricted to destroyer class or lower ships, tactical destroyers are probably the best choice for this site. While recording the footage for this video series, I kept track of the loot drops for 10 Angel Creocorp mining sites. Due to the frequency that this site is bugged out, I wasn't able to gather quality statistics on loot drops. Six of the sites had the first room already emptied out. Of the remaining four, two of them dropped something beyond the Overseer effects. The best result was the Gisty B-Type Small Shield Booster, which is pretty much exactly what you're hoping for. Stay tuned to Riley Entertainment for more EVE Online combat site guides. In high security Minmatar space, you can also probe down other DED rated sites like the Minmatar Contracted Biofarm, Angel Repurposed Outpost, and Angel Cartel Occupied Mining Colony. The Angel's Red Light District can only be found in high security space through a lucky escalation from an Angel Refuge or Den. Other NPC pirates include Rogue Drones, the Serpentis, Garistas, Blood Raiders, and Sancha's Nation. My journey to host a complete set of combat site video guides began in 2020, with a similar 13-part series for Serpentis combat sites. More recently, I completed a similar guide for high-security Garistas combat sites. If you find yourself in Galent or Kaldari space, you can check out those videos right now. If you're curious about fitting assault frigates for combat site exploration, you can check out the gaming section of my website over at RileyEntertainment.com. Thanks for making it to the very end, and smash that like button if you enjoy my content.